22. The topic is called cleansing prayer that destroys areas affecting your destiny or affecting destiny. Cleansing prayer that destroys destroys areas affecting destiny or your destiny. Therefore, my sister, go ahead and read. Yes, six. Deuteronomy three, verse twenty. That it, that it, Deuteronomy three, verse twenty-two. You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God shall fight for you. You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God shall fight for you. Who? You shall not fear them. Who are they? You shall not fear the witchcraft. You shall not fear the enemy. You shall not fear anything that is working against you. You shall not fear the diseases that you are facing. You shall not fear that you are broke now. You have no money. You shall not fear anything like that. You shall not fear because the Lord your God will fight for you. Hallelujah. You shall not fear that the Bible is saying you shall not fear anything. Because the Lord your God is going to fight for you. Hallelujah. Let's go to 2 Samuel 22, verse 3 and 4. 2 Samuel 22, verses 3 and 4. My God, my rock, in him will I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. Amen, amen, amen. My God, my Lord, in him will I take refuge, my shed and the honor of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You save me from fire and you see, this is the Lord we are serving. Our God, you are God. That is said, my God, you are God. You are Lord. God is your Lord. In him you take revenge. You run to him in a time of trouble. He's your shelter. He protects you. He's your stronghold. Yes, he is your stronghold. Is your savior from fire and any fire and any abuse, anything that is working against you. The Lord is your lock. The Lord is your shelter. The lock is your salvation. The Lord is your stronghold and ravage. The Lord is your savior. It's called my savior. My, my, my. You see? You call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised and you are saved from your enemies. So you call the Lord. This is personal. That's why we need to confess. It is about personal. You see, it is my, my. Check your Bible and see. That is how you confess those words. It will cleanse you anything that is hiding in your, in your life. That is what we call cleansing prayer. You confess them. You say, my God. If you repeat these three days, continually three days as we continue, you can repeat many times as you can. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm not concentrating on any writing now. Sorry, because I ask any prayer request, so I'm, I'm not going to, to respond because I don't see anything. Even if you say something on Periscope, I don't see it. I'm not, I'm not concentrating. I'm concentrating on the prayer now. Uh, 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 we need to, to concentrate on prayer because we don't need distraction. Don't look at those writings. Don't look at anything. You concentrate because you want God to help you. You want to be cleansed. You want to get rid of the problem that you are facing. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You see, this is the Lord. You say, my God. That's why our, the prayers we say, I, I. Yes? My God, my Lord, in whom will I take refuge, my shed and my horn of my salvation, whom uh, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from fire. I call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. 
and I am saved from my enemies. You will be saved from your enemies. The enemy studies tormenting you. The enemy studies make you, you can't sleep. You will be saved. That's what the Bible says. You will be saved from your enemies. You, you say, I am saved from my enemies. So there is no enemies that would overpower the word of God. There is no enemy that would defeat Jesus Christ. There is no enemy that would defeat the word of God. I was talking with a lady. She was telling me that she feels that there is a lot of witchcraft that has been witching her. She, that's why she can't do anything. I said, witchcraft? Witchcraft is nothing. They are just nothing. They are nothing. God has declared them dead. God has sentences them dead sentences. If they cannot repent, they have no life. They have no life. So, so don't worry about them. They are nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. So, as you know, when you, 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 you confess those prayers, when you, you make them to, to be alive in your spirit, there is no enemy. Enemies of God, they are your enemies. Your enemies, they are enemies of God. Therefore, the Bible says, let enemies scatter and let God arise. Let the enemies scatter from your life and let God arise in the name of Jesus. Sister, go ahead and, and read the book of Psalms 144, verse 1. Psalms 144, verse 1. Yes. Psalms 144. Yes. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Psalms 144, verse 1. That's right. Okay, can you go ahead? Read. Yes. Blessed be the Lord my rock and my king and firm strength, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Yes. You see? Blessed be the Lord my rock. And my king and my firm strength, who teaches my hands to war and fingers to fight. The Lord teaches your hands, your hands and your fingers to war, to fight. That's why we cut in the name of Jesus, we cut you. You know your hands is sharp double gauge than any other two double gates. That's why you see, cut, cut them, cut them to pieces. When you do like this, you cut them to pieces. The devil does not want you to, to do your hands like that. Sometimes I pray to people. I don't touch them. I just stretch my hand like this. And then I see people falling down. Falling down flat. I don't touch them. Because I know what is in my, my hand. God is the one who teaches our hands. It says, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. The, God knows there is war. That's why he has to teach your hands to fight. He has to teach your fingers to fight. So the Lord, our Lord is our, 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 our Lord, our Lord is our lock. Who teaches our hand? So you, you have things with you. You have weapon in you. You have no idea what you have. The hand that you have, it is a hand that, that is more than a bomb blast, more than a weapon. More than nuclear bomb. When you stretch your hand like this, the demons must bow and flee from you. That's why you see many times Jesus was doing different, different miracles. Because all in your body, everything you have there, a weapon. The voice that God has given us is a, is a bomb blast. It will go to the heart of the enemy and destroy them. The wicked people, they honor him. Use the words and it works. What about you, child of God? Especially when God has said that he will train your hands. He will train your fingers. He will, he will train them to fight. He will teach them. Lord is, is so powerful. We thank God that God is able to teach us. Glory be the name of Jesus. That's how you, you say, blessed be the Lord my lock. Blessed be the Lord my lock. You just confess those words in your spirit. Hallelujah. 
especially the Bible says, B, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight? That's what you have to focus. He is the one who teaches your hands and to your fingers to fight. God understands that we have war. That's why we have spiritual warfare. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let's go to, to Isaiah 54 verse 17. Isaiah 54 verse 17. This is spiritual warfare prayer. Which will cleanse your system. It will cleanse you. You will not, and nothing is going to remain in you. Three days, we are going to meditate these scriptures. Yes, go ahead, my sister. Isaiah 54, 17. Yes. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which raises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. You know, the, the word of God is very clear. When the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But you see the weapon of the devil has been prospering to many lives. People, the devil, the weapon of the enemy, they use against your life. It has prospered. You find a person, a child of God, like a brother who has been in the, in the overseas for many years. He doesn't have anything. Like a sister who has been here for many years. Nothing. Nothing. Even papers. Nothing. No job. Nothing. That weapon has worked on the child of God. This weapon is working to some people. But the Bible have declared said no weapon. I pray that no weapon as we continue praying. If you have never fasted, this is your time you will try to fast and pray and meditate this scripture. God is not a liar to lie. Who have said that no weapon formed, no, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time which rests against you in judgment, you shall condemn them. You shall condemn them. The Bible says, condemn any, any, any tongue rests against you. Condemn any work. Condemn any, any sickness in your body. Condemn any poverty you are facing. Condemn that poverty. Condemn them. You have to prophesy against them. You cannot stay with the weapon of the devil and you keep quiet. You must be very aggressive. You must really be serious with your God. He's the one who has said. He is the one who has said no weapon. But you find weapon is, is prospering to your life, to your, the children of God. That's why you may med med meditate this scripture like mad wounded lion. Or like 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 hundred prophets, like mad prophets, you must be holy, aggressive, and holy, violent. With this, you have suffered enough. You are you are going through very difficult life, and the witches and the witchcraft, witches and the wizard are are dancing because you don't know the, your rights. The devil is very happy because they don't know they know you don't know your rights. Once you don't know your rights, they can shit on you. They can be on you. They take their, your certificate and be on you, on, on them. Now your certificate look like papers. You, according to the kingdom of darkness, your certificate is papers. Nobody will hire you. Nobody will give you a job because your certificate, they have done your certificate like papers. They have, they have, they have even closed your home. You can't have children because the weapon of the enemy has prospered. Prosper means wealthy, means rich. It has entered and it has occupied everything in your life. It has taken your children. It has taken your husband. It has taken your, hus your husband. So now you are single. You remain like that. And you feel it's comfortable. It's good. It's a lie. We will destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says this is the inheritance of the servant of the Lord. And their righteous is from me, says the Lord. We, we, we need the inheritance of the Lord. We need this. We are not going to look at the enemy, the devil, the, 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 the witches and wizards, dancing what they have done to us. And we watch it. We, we don't know what to do. We reverse it because the Bible said we will condemn them. That's why I'm very serious with the prayers. That's why I use fire, thunder, 
very, very, very difficult, very, very strong words. You can use thunder and the fire of God to consume any problem that is affecting your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, let's look at the, the, the scripture from the book of Isaiah 59, verse 19. Isaiah 59, 19. So, as a result of the Messiah's intervention, they shall reverently fear the name of the Lord the West and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and put him to flight. For he will come like a rushing stream, which the breath of the Lord drives. Amen. 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 The Bible says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, when the enemy is coming to attack you, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and, and put him to flight, for he will come like a rushing stream, which the breath of the Lord breaths. The Lord is so powerful. You know there is enemy coming to you. When Jesus saw the devil coming like thunder, like lightning, he told Peter, Peter, I have to pray for you. I've seen something which is not right. I've seen the enemy. The devil is coming like flat, like 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 thunder, and is coming to strike you. So Jesus had to pray, has to pray to Peter to stop what was going to happen to Peter. Therefore, the, here the Bible says the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. That's why I, I told you yesterday that the Lord will raise up a standard of the Holy Spirit and it will go against the enemies. The enemies that has been in your life, they have been staying for you for long, for many years. They start, the Holy Spirit himself is going to fight them. He's going to declare them and cleanse you from the top of your head to the soul in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Matthew 4, verse 10. Matthew 4, verse 10. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Yes, you have to tell Satan, Away from me. You have to confess with your own mouth, Tell the devil, Away from me, Satan. Don't be tempted. Don't let the temptation to overtake you. Because the Bible says any temptation that people have, they have a ways. You, you, you command, you devil, get away behind me. It is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. It is written, you should not worship other gods before him. Anything that is coming to your way, command them to get away from you in Jesus' name. Talk to the devil. Tell the devil, get away. Get from, get away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. Say, away from me, Satan. Say loud, away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. Yes, away say, from say, me, say. Satan, right now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, say, away from me, Satan. Say. I don't know. You must be. You you are not angry up to this time. You think it's it's it's, it's fun. <laughs> I want the people who are very angry with the devil. You say, away from me. Away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. Just away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. Away from me. You you know you use your hand to to beat it. You say, away from me, Satan. If you have away any infirmity, yes, yes, away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. For it is written. Away from me, Satan. Yes, listen, say, away from me, Satan. For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Confess. Say, away from me, Satan. Amen. Serve him only in Jesus' name. Amen. Serve the Lord Amen. your God and serve him only. No other gods. So 
it shall be done, it shall be well. Now we are going to pray Masinigan prayer bullet. We are going to talk, we are going to talk about the devil. There are prayers that you can wage against the powers of all stronghold attacking themselves to you through your attachment to your ancestors. They contribute a lot in, in shaping and affecting your destiny. They can also destroy uh, they, they can also destroy attacks, eliminating from your closest family members due to blood leakage. So we are one to the above mentioned powers can magnetize someone to demonic altar, so you should deal with them. We need to deal with them. We need to deal with the bondage. We need to deal with this blood leakage in the name of Jesus. This is how to deal with them. Make a completely deep repentance about yourself and any sin in the family. So ask the Lord to forgive you deep repentance and uh, about your family, about yourself and your family. Let's confess. Confess. Ask God to forgive you any sin, unconscious or conscious, and the sins of your family in the name of Jesus. Everything the family have done, God is going to forgive you and your family in Jesus' name. Confess. Yes. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray that God, in the name of Jesus, I repent all my sins. I repent the sins of my family. Everything my family have done against you, Lord. I repent, God. I am standing in the cup on behalf of my family. Lord, my father, everything my family have done, my children, my husband, my wife, everyone that has done evil against you, Lord. My father, forgive us. Forgive us, God. Forgive every one of our family, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 That's how you, 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 you start attacking the enemy. If they are from your family, you're getting access to come to you. Now you, you put a stop. Because there's a ladder. There must be a ladder to the enemy to come in. There must be a door where the enemy will come to attack you. Now you close that door completely when you repent and you repent the sin of your family. If it is the family have done evil, now the enemy is getting you, it is gone. The, two, put on the whole arm of God, pressed plate of righteousness, pelt of truth, shield of faith, a, a element of salvation, shoes of splitting the gospel and the sword of the spirit. Ask God, to release angels of war, to wage war against your enemy and to assist you. Now please ask God. Ask God to release the angels. Ask God, God, I want you to release the angels to war against my enemy. Enemies, enemies, God, to assist you. You pray, 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 ask God to release angels of war. What which war against your enemies? Yes, Lord, my father, Father God, I pray God, release angels of war to wage war against my enemies. Every enemy is God. I need the assistance. You ask the assistance, ask the assistance of angels, ask angels, ask the assistance of the angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, mm. yes, amen, amen. Ask assistance. Yeah, ask assistance of the angels to come against your enemies in the name of Jesus. Those people who are suffering, who have multiple problems, you need angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You know, when you... When you ask the angels, when you ask Almighty God to assist you with the angels to fight your enemy, that is what is happening. Because a soldier cannot go alone to, to fight. And there's no policeman can go alone for a war. He, ha he always had a pack up. If he goes to arrest a criminal, he cannot go alone. He has to ask the pack up. So we, we ask God to release angels to assist us to destroy our enemies. It is permitted because everyone has angels. 
you ask your angels to assist you because you alone you can't do it. Let's go three. Counsel and ag agreement made by your ancestors with the demonic forces. Counsel anything that your ancestors has made. Your forefathers made an agreement with the demonic forces. Counsel it. I counsel an agreement made by my, my forefathers, made by ancestors. Counsel it. Counsel, confess. Say, I counsel every agreement. Met by my ancestors, met by uh, with the demonic voices in the name of Jesus. You cancel an agreement made by your ancestors with the demonic voices in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, you cancel an agreement made by your ancestors with your demonic voices in Jesus' name. You have to cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Cancel an agreement made by your ancestors with the demonic voices in the name of Jesus. Cancel it. Cancel it in the name of Jesus. Yes. You have to cancel in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Yes. That is how you do. You cancel. You cancel an agreement made by your for, for your ancestors with the demonic voices. You have to cancel them. Hallelujah. Sister Linda. Lindy. Continue fast five, fast five. Um, reject any spiritual marriage with dark spirits. For example, water spirits. Reject any spiritual marriage with dark spirits. For example, water spirits. Yes, you have to reject any spiritual marriage with the dark spirit. For example, water spirits. There are some people who are being attacked by water spirit. There are people who are being attacked by the marine spirit. So you they, you reject it. I reject. I reject the spirit in marriage. I reject the spirit of marriage. Attack at, uh, with the dark spirit with the water spirit. You refuse. You say I reject spirit of marriage. Reject yes. Marriage. Yes. That's Continue. Spirit marriage. For example, water spirit. Let us do it. Yes, pray, pray. Reject every spiritual marriage. This one, it doesn't matter whether you are married or you are not married. Because if this spirit is in you, even if you are married, your marriage cannot stand. That's why you need to reject them. And they are very terrorists. So you reject it. You reject any spiritual marriage with the dark sp spirit. For example, Water spirit, marine spirit, king water, uh, witchcraft, they are practicing in the water. You reject it in the name of Jesus. You reject them very aggressively. You reject it. I reject the spirit of marriage with the dark spirit. For example, water spirit, marine waters in the name of Jesus. I reject it in the name of Jesus. I reject them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Continue, sister. Sister, in the continue, number six. Um, number six, we shake the foundation of all that is hidden in the heavenly concerning you. Shake the foundation of all that is hidden in the heavenly concerning you. Anything that is hidden in, in the heavens concerning you, shake it, shake it, the foundation of that is hidden in the, in the heavens concerning you. Just shake it, shake it, shake the foundation of all that is hidden in the heavens concerning you. Just shake it out, shake, you know, to shake it out, 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 completely. Shake the foundation of all that is hidden in the heavens concerning you. Anything that is hidden in, in the heaven concerning you, shake it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You pray, pray. Yes, you shake it in the name of every foundation of that is hidden in the heavens concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Continue, sister. Okay. We remove all covenants and agreements made by people and your ancestors by fire in Jesus' name. Remove all covenants and agreements made by your people and your ancestors by fire in Jesus' name. You remove all covenants and agreements made by your people and your ancestors 
by fire. You remove them in the name of Jesus. You, re you remove every covenant and agreement made by your people. Because you didn't make any covenant. Those people, they make covenant which is attacking you, which is affecting you. Now you remove them by, the, by fire in the name of Jesus. Remove them. Remove them in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray that you remove every covenant. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Continue removing them all covenant and agreement made by your people and your ancestors by fire in the name of Jesus. Remove them. Remove every covenant. Break it and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Come up, break them. Those are the ones affecting your life. They are the ones that are responsible for your problem. Break them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Yes, my God. We give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Keep on, my sister, number eight. Wipe out all satanic demands, covenants, and agreements with ancestors with the blood of Jesus. Wipe out all satanic demands, covenants, and agreements with ancestors with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Whip out all satanic demands, covenants, and agreement with the ancestors with the blood of Jesus. Whip them, whip them, whip them. Whip all of them. Right. Oh, whip them oh, out oh, in the oh, name oh, of Jesus. Amen. Whip, whip them out all satanic demands and the covenant. Everything the devil is commanding and agreement. Whip them. You are not responsible. Whip them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. My God. I thank you, Father. Whip them out all. Out all in the name of Jesus Christ. The demands, covenant, and agreement which has met by ancestors with the blood of Jesus. Whip them, whip them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father. We give all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Number nine, sister. Wipe out all evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. Yes. Wipe out. Wipe out, wipe out evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. Wipe out all evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. You know there's some programs that has been programmed against you. Whip them. Whip all of them. Whip out all evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. Whip them. Whip them. Whip them all of them in the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Continue whipping them. Whip out all evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Whip all. Whip out all evil programs concerning you by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 That is the last one. Sister, keep on praying. Cut all blood covenants in your family line with the sword of the spirit. Cut all unbiblical blood covenants in your family line with the sword of the spirit. Cut, come on, keep on, keep cut all unbiblical uh, blood covenant covenants in your family line with the with the sword of the the, the spirit. Keep cut them off and be uh, and biblical cut. Cut them. I cut all unbiblical blood covenants in with my the family line with a sword. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Be very annoyed and very aggressive. Cut them all. Cut it, cut it, take it and cut it. Cut it, I chop you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> cut it off. Cut it off the blood covenants in your family. In the name of Jesus. Cut them off. Yes. Every light of the devil, you get them. Cut them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to thank you, everybody. Thank you for praying. And we will continue tomorrow. We have two meetings tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow midnight, 
we will continue. This prayer is programmed for three days and we can, we can repeat it many times as we can because we want to be clean. We want to be set free. There are a lot of prayers, however. This, if you have not received any prayer guidance from me, call me. I will send it to you so that you can be together with us when we pray, you know what you are praying. I pray that God will help you. This is a very powerful prayer and it, is, it has destroyed so much stuff in your life. You have no idea what you have done to yourself. That's why you need to confess and, and meditate upon them. May, repeat those scriptures as much as you can. Fast. Continue reading them. Don't, don't worry of reading anything. Just focus on these scriptures. They are very powerful and it's going to change you if you are not going to be the same. Because the Bible does not contradict. The word of God is life. Therefore, it does not contradict. It will do what you have said it will do. It will do what God has said it will do. Remember, the Bible says you confess. You will declare a thing and it will establish. Therefore, as you, con you confess the thing, as you speak, it is going to be established. People are suffering so much. You have some, uh, some curses that you don't know where it came from. You, are, you continue growing, you continue going backward instead of going forward. You've been suckering in one place. You have been, your manner has been attacked so much. So we, we, we have to stop this. Through this convention, through this cleansing of the, the, the scriptures and the words that we are using, it shall be well with you. Thank you, fellow man. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye-bye to you. See you tomorrow, uh -huh. 8 in the morning or midnight. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. Remember to call me if you need our phone number to call me for prayers. Call me on this number 647-608-5207. I have the prayer for you. If you have not received any prayer from me or I, I didn't reach you, get me, give me your email or call me. I will give you the prayers so that you, we can pray together. Uh, our number is, we have uh, the number 877-241-3420. Zero extension 101 call me I will be sending you even right now if you have not received any prayer from us you need these prayers so that you can pray you can continue praying and fast if you can fast even a couple of hours you if you cannot take it from 6 to 6 you can you can fast even if you can fast dry fasting go ahead and do fry, uh, uh, prayer uh, dry fasting we need to, to meet, we need to to be cleansed we need to be delivered. And then on Friday, 7 p.m., we will be going to do deliverance of the iron feet. So it will be on prayer line, no periscope, because there's a lot of destruction on periscope. I, don't, I will not do periscope on the deliverance on periscope. I will do on prayer line. So prayer, buy the card. If you are from other country, there's cards. You go and buy it for that particular time. And then after that, that's okay. You will be saved. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you. God bless you so much. Take care. I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yes, bye-bye. I see Periscope people, they don't want to go. Hallelujah. Bye-bye, my, my sweetheart. Bye. Bye-bye.